Hey everybody, back with a new episode of The Boys, season finale. I'm really excited. Uh, last episode, shit kind of hit the fan, you know? All the secrets are out. Starlight knows about Huey. Got herself shot by Butcher because of it, because she was trying to be nice to him, even after she found out. Butcher's just kind of off the rails right now, even though he did the right thing and uh, getting Rainer to help with everyone's families that were in trouble. Uh, I, I don't know, though, what's going to happen now because, you know, the CIA went fully at Stillwell and was in a really great spot until a supervillain showed up and now they're going to be tested on what they're willing to be okay with because you know they're going to want to employ a superhero to help with that and that's going to get super messy. It's just interesting that the thing that the show has been so against with the, the Seven being a part of the military, Butcher's now involved in the government too. He's got the CIA he's dealing with. And I don't think everything that Butcher wants to happen is going to align necessarily with what they're going to want. So that's going to get complicated, I think. We saw what happened with Butcher's wife, Rebecca, or what we think happened. We really just saw her come out of a a hotel room disheveled and I have a sneaking suspicion that maybe it wasn't rape. What if she just hooked up with Homelander? That's going to be a tough pill to swallow for Butcher if that's the case. I, I don't know but you know it's possible. Um, I, yeah, I'm really excited to see how they're gonna wrap up this season, if it's gonna, like, end on a cliffhanger or anything like that, but things are definitely up in the air, so I'm really excited to see how they're gonna resolve if anything if they do, so, yeah, let's get into it. Howdy, boys! Shit. Oh, sorry. Homelander. Oh, Hate him. But they've counterfeited this. Jim Beaver, are you kidding? We would like to get to the bottom of this as much as you would. You know. If I had my way, the Justice Department would haul your smug tennis. God, Eric Kripke is really loyal, Congress. huh? So it doesn't matter where heroes really come from. Frankly, it doesn't even matter how the enemy got the Compound V. What matters is they've got it. No, it, it still matters. A new world now. You want to live now? What? Hello, this isn't the day spa. Aww. Look, I gave you the V. I gave you everything you asked for and more. I trusted you. This is a fucking thing, so get. Damn, this went sideways so fast. Well, I don't mean the boys, then, eh? You cut bait and run for your lives. I'm sorry. Damn. We're on the verge of nailing these cunts. And you want to cut, bait, and run before we play the final card. Okay, what is it, man? What's the final card? Give us a couple of hours, yeah? What's Compound V? Uh, Compound V? She I knows. don't know, sweetheart. Should I? Annie, honestly, I don't know. What How you're old when you let them turn me into a freak? You're not a freak. You That's made true. me think that I was chosen by God. You were. <laughs> God brought thought into our lives. He Come made this on. possible. Bullshit! You're not. So much. Damn, he's still bent. They didn't share details. But hey. Is he even in the seven anymore? Mallory? I need your help. And you're gonna fucking help. Because you owe me. You fucking owe me, goddammit. What went down? Oh, Kamiko. Look at you, Monko. Oh no! <gasps> Hurry! <gasps> uh uh! Come on! No. <gasps> oh, shit! Oh man! We couldn't let her have that! Just a, a moment! Damn! You made me a promise! But then my grandchildren got incinerated. Ugh. Just to change one's perspective. Oh, I'm gonna finish what you started. Come on, Mallory. I need your help. 
You really do. They have a, what shall we say, a very special relationship. Oh, yeah, you can definitely say that. Intimate. Hard to quantify. Yeah, you know this, hell. Still have a few fingers and a few pies. Oh. I don't know if Homelander Who's her has spy? Weakness, but if he does... Blackrise. Would Homelander care? You want to kill yourself? That's your right. I won't stop you. But Billy! Not the others! Security dude. Fucking relax. No, oh. are we? Wait, so now that you... Now that you know I'm A-Train, now we're good? It's all about Homelander, isn't it? And A-Train. This is your fucking shit too, Huey. Promised you payback, didn't I? No, he's right. You're just gonna drag us all down with you. Not me. Not me. Oh wow. Good boy, Huey. Oh man, this could not. This could not be going worse. What is our saving grace here? What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Everybody's doing bad. Everyone. Ooh. You're lucky she doesn't beat your ass. I need your help. <laughs> this is what you should have done in the first place. I was headed for this cliff, and then you and me went bowling. Bowling. Yeah. Bowling. It's not saving you. That's it's just being there. Same thing. I don't care. You do. But he deserves that. We need a rest. How the fuck are you? <laughs> Did he find some compound V? You back on that compound V? <sighs> you promised me that you would stay clean. No, I am clean. <laughs> Everyone is a disaster. I'm just, you're, I'm just, you know. <clears throat> <laughs> what an enigma. Mr. Edgar, uh, <gasps> I didn't know you were going to come. Carlo! Start thinking about the view from 82. Are you happy? <laughs> Electricity goes in, glass <gasps> comes out. Babe. <gasps> Just make whatever shitty comment you're gonna make and then go. I really did break every bone in my right arm. What? You said the marketing guys made it up. It was me. Be the annoying goody two shoes asshole that you are. One of us has to be. Come on, Annie. This isn't you. A suit terrorist showing up exactly when we needed him to was a pretty fucking incredible coincidence. It's almost like someone planned it. Yeah. Seems like. Mm -hmm. I made him. What do you mean you made him? I thought Madeline him? did it. Well, I borrowed some compound V. Not to oversimplify it, I mean, it, it was actually very difficult and very messy. You using adult subjects. Unbelievable. There's a good reason the bot doesn't do it, but well, enough survive to call the operation a huge success. She's grateful. Take off your pants. <laughs> I don't want to see this. I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. No, you just good. Oh, my God. I'm you. Wow. 20, 20 seconds? Kamiko's gonna be okay. Aww. So you're doing the right thing? Yeah. Do you like that? <laughs> Ridiculous. That I didn't tell you about your baby. Immediately! Okay, so... You must have wanted that to happen. What's your plan? What did you do? Yay. Never is a man thrown his life away so <laughs> completely that you thrown yours away today. What <laughs> yeah. I mean is you. I managed to poly grip in my 12th grade retainer. Oh. It looked like a permanent bridge and it totally worked. Shit. Come on, get up in there, Frenchie. 
Sting. On three. One to three. Okay, well, have your count down. Oh, right? You okay, buddy? Did it work? Yes. yes. All right, all right. Huey, you came through. Where's Kamiko? Butcher. Maria. You're his weakness. It's been said. Save him? Two, three. Too slow. Call an ambulance. Go! Or else you'll get caught. Yeah. Damn, you are so lucky she still fucks with you. Keep going! Oh my god, guys! Oh! <laughs> Most people standing where, where you are be pissing their pants, terrified, but you. I'm sure your your heart's pounding, but you're not afraid. He doesn't have anything to lose. It's anger. She came on to me. It Will happens. You stop? You know, it's it's the fame. They got crushes. There's nothing I can do about it. Was... But what I will Ooh. tell you is, she was a hell of a lay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna hurt you. I mean, really fucking hurt you. How? This whole thing. It is based on fucking feelings. <laughs> yeah, you can't relate to that. Hold on. Take it uh, Shut the fuck up! Did, did you ever really care about me? You mean everything to But your, your hostage is about no. to get taken out. No, no. I mean everything to your job. <laughs> no! Oh. Homelander doesn't love anything. Oh my god, that is so fucking dark. <gasps> what was that plan again? <laughs> it's shot to shit. Oh, well. Billy, was that. Were you trying to kill yourself too? No. No way. Homelander. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But... <gasps> uh, I didn't think she was alive. This is so cruel. I'm your father. Butcher. We are a family. <laughs> Unreal. 
Okay, well, that went terribly, but you know, I guess, you know, you fight to, you live to fight another day. He didn't kill Butcher when he very much could have just let him blow up. And so Homelander saved him, which means that he would have died. He was just going to try to take them both out, but that wouldn't even kill Homelander. I guess he was just giving up, which is terrible because his one plan that Homelander cared about somebody was not true. Um, I think he, you know, he had some feelings towards Stillwell, but once he found out that she had been lying about his baby, his son, who was still, who did not drown and did not kill Becca. <laughs> what? Oh my God. This episode was wild. Um, it started out wild because they immediately got just blacklisted. Um, once the CIA needed the soups for the super terrorists, they were like, yeah, no, we need this more. And um, you're actually wanted now, even though you were trying to help take these fuckers down, that doesn't matter anymore. Oh my God. And then Butcher and Huey broke up and then everything was seeming so bad and it was, but thankfully Starlight decided to help out because at the end of the day, she does want to be a hero and she was here. She helped them get out, even though she's still mad at Huey for what he did. And then <laughs> she helped him with a train, but then they, at the end of the day, they didn't want to kill him either. They're trying to help him, even though he was having a heart attack. Man. Man, that was wild, but everyone got away at least. Still, well, I didn't see her going out like this or at all. I didn't expect her to go out in the first season. No, I thought she was a bigger player than that. Uh, but when she was going to get put under that dude, like she kind of lost some power there. And uh, she completely lost her in with Homelander because she wasn't honest like she said she was going to be. And that's all it took, one little slight, because he already has mommy issues, so he just took that out on her. And I guess her kid, did he kill the baby too? That's on Butcher. Ooh. Man, that was wild. And Butcher is going to have to pull himself up off the ground, because I don't know if he's ever been lower still as much as he's gone through this is quite the um information to take in not only was your wife who you thought was raped which i guess probably could have been true but i don't think it was i felt like that and with homelander saying that she wanted to i i don't oh and then like to see that she's not even dead and she has a son with Homelander and for Homelander to say that he's the father in front of Butcher it just adds insult to injury oh my god Homelander is way scarier than I gave him credit for I've always known like he's powerful and he's an asshole but there was a maliciousness here that I wasn't prepared for, even though I should be because like what happened on the plane and stuff like that. But this was just um, him really relishing in making people miserable. He is like a grade A asshole. And like, what is his weakness now? If he truly doesn't care about anybody, maybe it would be his son. But his son is souped up. How do you deal with that? Oh, my Wow. You know, Huey obviously screwed Starlight over, but he still got to her and was still 
going, trying to help, trying to get the boys out. And he did, even though that was a ridiculous plan, his retainer, but it worked. And uh, Starlight came in and saved the day. I'm so happy about that. And they got Kamiko too, which I was worried about. Um, I just like the little moment with her just painting her fingernails, brushing her hair, like letting her have that one moment. They, it, it did not last very long, but just letting her have something nice for a second and just, you know, Frenchie caring about her so much and saving her. I, I love them the most, I think. They're just the cutest and I hope they're okay. And then, I mean, M.M. saved her. So he he did that for Frenchie, even though they've had beef in the past. And I just really love that group and Butcher's gonna have to come crawling back. Oh man, Butcher's gonna be in such, like he's already like, you know, hates the world just about, was only being um, fueled by vengeance, which may still be true, but he's just taken so many more blows here. It's so much worse and he tried to blow himself up. So he's probably gonna be doing so bad next season, but at least we have like, this is what we needed. We needed Starlight on our side, not just using her without her knowledge. So for as many losses we incurred here, like we don't have the CIA anymore and they're all wanted, there's still hope, <laughs> you know? They live to fight another day. It's just gonna be figuring out how to take down Homelander Maybe it's with um, public opinion, if they can prove what he is, but he's still a threat either way. And I was surprised that it was his decision to um, create the, the super terrorists. I thought that was coming from Stillwell, but no, he really played that exactly as he needed to because exactly when they needed a threat to make themselves seem useful in the military it it happened and now they're in it that is wild and i don't know what's going on with the deep i think he was having like an existential crisis there just shaving off all of his body hair i don't know if he's just gonna go live in the ocean maybe that would be best for him i don't know but yeah this was a wild finale and definitely didn't i mean it started out like immediately different than i was imagining and it just went so south and just kept falling. And uh, I can't say that it got super better, but I also can't say that I'm not pretty hopeful about them picking themselves back up. Butcher's gonna be doing really badly. He's gonna have to process all this. And that's gonna be a lot. I wonder what his wife, his ex-wife is gonna have to say about this. Okay, yeah, really good, really, really good finale. Definitely shocked the shit out of me on a lot of things. And uh, yeah, overall, just a really good, strong season. And I'm really excited for season two and what that's going to bring. And obviously, season three is not far away. And y'all know how hype I am about that because of a certain someone. So I, yeah, I could not be more thrilled with this show. Um, I guess I have to say, I'm just like a really big fan of Eric Kripke, I think. Uh, and Bobby showed up. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Jim Beaver, I fucking love. And G Giancarlo Esposito. Man, this cast is stacked. Um, and it's going to get even more stacked because I know Aya Cash is in it and she wasn't in this season. And obviously Jensen's coming. So, yeah, what a show. I like, I love the idea, the concept. Um, the characters, just really, really good. So I, I could not be happier and I'm very, very excited to start season two very soon. So thank you guys for watching and I'll be back soon.